Hey, I'm Daphne Oz and welcome to my Good Housekeeping October issue photo shoot. Right here. <laughs> the thing I love most about entertaining is that I get to stay home. I mean, anyone who knows me knows I like to be barefoot, I like to be comfortable, and I've got two little kids so it also makes it easy for me. And I just, I think that entertaining in your house, it gives people a way to, to see you in your element, to get a, a sense of what how you like to eat in your own home, how you like to cook, how you like to uh, relax. One of my go-to dishes for a, a dinner party is really one that has to feel impressive and substantial, but also ideally not take a ton of time. And for me, it's a roast chicken. I feel like everybody should learn and master one awesome roast chicken recipe because it makes you feel like a badass in the kitchen. The favorite part of my home is my kitchen counter. When we were designing the kitchen, it was the biggest thing for me to be able to find space for a kitchen island. And I, I really encroached on our living space as a result. My mom's one of six and I she had me when she was 22 so I was kind of like the seventh child in that in that huge crew and so I have these incredible memories of gathering all these family members around my grandmother's kitchen island and that would be where we'd you know we'd have we'd put out big spreads of Italian food and everyone would just grab their plate and go sit at the table it feels like such a communal space for me I, I entertain here I feed my kids here my hubby and I do not cook together my hubby does not cook regrettably. Um, but he's an excellent cleaner upper and so I get to get in the kitchen and do what I love which is make a mess and have fun and just like throw stuff together and experiment and see what works. My favorite healthy snack, well recently I've been eating um, coins of zucchini with chicken salad on top and it feels like kind of like you're eating chips. Not really chips but like a version of chips. Like again snacks should really come out of your fridge pretty much already made. You're not looking to spend a lot of time doing them and it's one of those things that I almost always will have in my fridge. I wrote The Happy Cook, really, I mean, I've only ever written books based on personal experiences I've been having in my life and, and this was one of those moments where I was like, you know, I love cooking, I love eating. I used to be able to eat out a lot more than I than I do now with, you know, with two little kids running around and I wanted to figure out how do I make cooking at home throughout the week feel like I'm eating out on the weekend. And so The Happy Cook was my collection of 125 recipes for eating every day like it's the weekend. People who know how I cook on the chew and, and you know, my life, they know that I'm all about happy and healthy. It's all about that balance for me. So I haven't outlawed all the, you know, the sugar and the butter and the oil and the salt. I've left as much of that in my recipes as I needed to, to make them maximally satisfying. Cause that to me was the whole point. Like if I'm going to spend time making this meal, I want it to feel like a million bucks and I want it to be well worth it. Thanks so much for coming to hang out. I hope you'll pick up a copy of the happy cook and come hang out at like a book signing. Bye.